Good day, wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making ETV a part of your day. I'm your host, Dominic Curitano. Our video segments highlight the work of the NECA IBEW team, the best labor management partnership in the electrical construction industry. Whether it's informational, industry trends, or just entertainment, we've got you covered. Here on ETV, we produced and shared green energy stories in the past, stories on combined heat and power systems, solar power, wind energy, and even one on green energy storage, which is a revolution in the industry. Or should I say, was a revolution. Because what the NECA IBEW team is now helping to pioneer is an entirely new way to think green, be green, go green, and make green, as in money for its customers, at a once prominent but long forgotten area of Philadelphia. One of the largest real estate projects that the city of Philadelphia has ever embarked on and has asked PIDC to take care of is the redevelopment of the Philadelphia Navy Yard. The Navy Yard is a terrific historical site for the city of Philadelphia. Many of the ships that were used in World War II were built right here. However, it fell upon some rough times in the decades that followed, but it was really a great piece of real estate for the city of Philadelphia. The Navy Yard is, has 10,000 employees right now. It is probably capable, with the subway expansion into the Navy Yard, of employing 30,000. At 1,200 acres, it is actually a little bit larger than our center city or our downtown Philadelphia. We are one of the largest non-military, unregulated electric grids in the entire nation. That unregulated nature of power here, combined with its physical size, makes this the ideal spot for a whole host of plug-and-play components that can make what's being called a green energy subgrid at the Gridstar Center. And it's all quarterbacked by this man, David Riley at Penn State University. The name Gridstar is intended to reflect obviously that our focus is on the electric grid, but it, it also reflects our, our aspiration to help cultivate talent and, and actual stars, people that are gonna be champions for energy efficiency and renewable energy and smart grid technology. A modular home amidst old Navy buildings ripe for redevelopment may seem out of place at first glance, and that is until it's explained a little bit better. A home is a great place to connect with people. Um, they can relate to their own energy security and, and what do they do with their family if the grid goes down. And, and what do these technologies really look like? Communities of homes uh, as well as commercial buildings and commercial scale microgrids uh, and utility scale uh, technologies are all available here. Renewable energy, uh, distributed generation, energy storage, the ability to host electric vehicles. It's not one technology that'll get this done, it's a suite of technologies and they actually interact together. And more than just our camera crew, and you, our audience, are interested in what the research shows about this microgrid within the Navy Yard. At the national level, um, we are seeing increasingly the need for places like this to support business development and uh, the um, growth and understanding of how these technologies actually work and support the um, the growth and confidence of electrical contractors in these technologies so they can begin to recommend them and integrate them into their projects. And when you talk about this project specifically, with the sheer amount of different types of systems and integration, the right choice was Nika IBEW. One of the great resources we have at our disposal here in Philadelphia is the great relationship that exists between Nika and Local 98 and, and the training infrastructure that exists. It was really great for us to get the exposure where we're doing a little bit of everything in one spot. Everyone can see it. The community can come in, the public can come in and see, hey, look at all this energy saving technology we have right here. It was a design build. Uh, we took everything that the engineer had and we had to adapt everything with our means and methods to install it for this particular facility. Being a modular home, a lot of the wires were just there. When the house was built, they just put it together and said, we'll figure it out down the road. We were able to take all of our commercial industrial skills and adapt everything for a residential setting. 
In addition to everything else, this, this is something you've likely never ever seen before. It's nothing more than a highly specialized camera, which is to say that it takes pictures of the atmosphere and compares them to actual performance of the solar power system. Over time, this can be used to predict how the weather affects solar energy output. Technologies change very quickly uh, with respect to energy and energy efficiency and learning will be constant and there's no greater asset to that than a sound and strong learning infrastructure um, that can support the cultivation of talent and also the continuing professional development of um, electricians, engineers uh, and, and NECA professionals. The rebirth of the Navy Yard in Philadelphia is just beginning. This was part one of our story. Stay tuned for part two, which will be loaded very soon, and we'll explore the realized benefits of the Gridstar Center and its research for actual tenants at the Navy Yard. That's all for this edition. Find us on Twitter and Facebook for story extras and more. Until next time, I'm Dominic Giratano. Thanks for making ETV a part of your day.